When finding percent of a number, you first want to be able to estimate. If I tell you that there are 300 gumballs in this jar and you can have 50% of them, think about what that means. 50% is the same as one half. Half of 300 is 150 gumballs. Now what if I said 10%? You may have 10% of the gumballs. Remember 10% means one tenth. So you would have about this many gumballs. 10% of 300 would be 30. You can also do that with powers of 10 by moving back your decimal one place. To find the actual percent of a number, you have two choices. You can use proportions or you can use multiplication. We're going to work this problem both ways. If there are 260 gumballs in the jar and you could have 20% of them, how many would you have? 20% is a fraction, is what you want to use for, for your proportion. Your, your words will be part to total, 20 to 100. This will be your first ratio of your proportion, and it comes from your 20%. Your second ratio will be x over 260. Use your cross products here, 100x. And 260 times 20, do the 2 times 26, 52. Now don't be afraid of the large numbers. I'm going to show you a nice easy way to divide here in just one moment. So bring your cross products down and set them equal to each other. Don't skip any of the steps of this. Show that you're going to isolate your variable by dividing both, both sides of your equation by 100. The 100s will cancel, isolating the variable on this side. Now this is what I wanted to show you. Do you see that we have two sets of zeros in both the numerator and denominator? You may cancel those in pairs with the same effect as dividing. So these will cancel and those will cancel. 52 divided by 1 is 52. Now this is a word problem, so answer in words. You may have 52 of the gumballs. Now the other way to work this problem is with multiplication. With proportions, we change 20% to a fraction. With multiplication, we're going to change it to a decimal. So set up your problem, 20% of 260. So you'd write out the problem, 20% of 260. The next step would be to change your percent to a decimal. Move your decimal back two places. So this could be 0.2 or 0.20. Change your of to multiplication, and then bring it down your number. Now all you have to do is work the problem at this point, 260 times 2 tenths, or 0.2, 2 times 0. 2 times 6 is 12, carry your 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. Now make sure you show your decimals, one decimal place in the problem, so one decimal place in the answer, and again, your answer is 52 gumballs.